So, great search for Tubo, DigiKey, and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady of User Power of Engineering help you, yes, you find the things on DigiKey.com. What are you looking for this week? Okay. So, um, this week I'm working on some soil sensing projects. Oh, it's a green PCB, so it doesn't show up. Uh, and um, I was just chatting about how I wanted to make a low power version. The current version I have plugs into USB. I want to make a lower power version that runs with a coin cell battery, but I couldn't just use any coin cell battery holder. So let's go to the overhead and I'll, sorry, the computer and I'll, I'll show my dilemma. So um, traditionally what I use for coin cell holders uh, is this very inexpensive metal, like bent metal plate that goes around a PCB, you can slot the coin battery in. It's very inexpensive. It's they work really great. Um, but what you have to do is have this big because the bottom is the contact. Um, it's great for boards where you have a single side that doesn't have any trace. You can't have any traces underneath here because the ground will short to it. And so as I was designing this PCB, I was like, oh, you know, can I use the Hold on. This is what it looks like. I wanted to use this coin holder, which, you know, would be very compact and inexpensive. But the problem is, is that there was no way for me to fit it in without the um, the USB, the pads of the USB or this chip. I'm going to have to have a lot of traces routing around it and they're going to have to go underneath. There's no way I can route this whole thing to be. Uh, single layer just because um, the pins have certain functions. So what I decided to do is instead of using this inexpensive bent metal style is find one that is SMT because I want to pick and place it on the opposite side, but doesn't, but is fully enclosed and doesn't like it's okay that it doesn't uh, use the PCB as a secondary contact. Um, and we covered the inexpensive coin battery holders before on the great search, but not uh, this particular type. So let's go to DigiKey and we're going to go look for battery holder. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Always helps. Okay, so battery holders, clips, and contacts. Yes. Yeah, lots of options here. Many of these are, again, low cost little metal bits. Um, so we want something for uh, CR 2032. Why? Because our microcontroller is going to draw, you know, when it's running, it draws 10 to 20 milliamps. You really do want to have uh, 2032 that could provide that sort of drain. Um, you know, the, there's a CR. Um, 1220 those are good for real-time clocks but you can't really run a microcontroller on them like you really the the amount of current that a coin and we've covered this on like many other videos the the amount of current that you can draw from a coin cell is approximately one tenth c which is the milliamp hour rating of the battery so the battery uh a, a cr 1220 is i think like 25 milliamp hours so you can't really draw more than like two or three milliamps Whereas a CR2032 is about 200 milliamp hours, so you can draw about 20 milliamps from it without a big degradation. So also it's very inexpensive. You can buy CR2032s everywhere. So let's do that. So we've selected it. Um, number of cells, I don't know, one or two. I, I, I'm not planning on doing more than one, but just wanna make sure that I get all the holders. Um, I want them to be active. Okay, so let's see what we've got down here. So yeah, a lot of these like inexpensive bent metal through hole style, SMT style, wonderful and everything. But again, uh, this is, I always love these. These are cute, but I've never had a use for them. They're like, they stick up, um, pretty adorable. Uh, this is just, this is a little plastic holder. Uh, I want something like this, but surface mounts. This is through hole, through hole, through hole. Uh, so like this, but surface mount. So let's, uh, Let's take another look. So we want PCB surface mount. Yeah, no PC pin, no wire leads. So let's do that. Apply, and then let's look for ones only that are in stock. I don't really, these, almost all of them are in stock, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, good, so these are, these are starting to look nice. The only thing is there's no way to really 
I don't think you can really, there's retainer versus holder, but I don't know if I trust. I don't know, I guess it seems like holder really is a holder, whereas retainer requires that PCB. So maybe I'll, I'll save myself. Yeah, I'll just do the style holder. Let's look at that and see what comes up. Okay, good. Yeah, these are, now we're talking. Yeah, that's, this is the stuff. A um, lot of makes and options. Some of these look like they're kind of, a, you know, this is this one. I've actually used these, by the way. These are very nice. I don't know if I'll use it in this case. They're, they're a little bit more expensive, but they have, they're really strong and you have to press the button to push the coin battery out. And it's a very satisfying um, thing to do. MPD always makes really great coin battery holders. Okay, so, oh, this is nice too. Wow, two cell, because yeah, it has the thing that comes up on the top. Okay, but the next thing I want to do is um, some of these come in tray and I don't want them in tray or bulk because I need to be able to pick and place them. So let's make sure that they cut in, come in cut tape or tape in reel. And then 2025, I can only really want the 2032. Let me see, make sure I get the one that, cause there's, there's different uh, families. Okay, looks good. So a lot of options. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just sort by price and then, then see what's up. So I did actually, one thing I kind of liked is that this was, um, yeah, there's the battery, but it's kind of, it's slim style. And again, the pricing is really good. Like 40 cents in quantity is a good deal. Again, you know, I, there's something to be said for these like all in one fully enclosed style, but I thought I would start with this one because I am pretty price conscious and like I do want to have, you know, I want to make sure that the pricing of this board isn't, isn't too expensive. So I'm going to start with this one and you can see the, I kind of already did the layout here with the two pads. You can see it's got that cutoff shape. Um, and then you know, it can go like this. Actually, I think I was like, this was what I wanted to do because, um, that way the, um, this didn't block the mounting hole. So if we you know if we're not done with the battery, it doesn't matter, but also, uh, the battery slips past the mounting hole as well. So you can, if you do want to use it, um, the holder won't be in the way and the battery won't be in the way. And if it's kind of nicely in the back and then you can pop it up. Another nice thing about the holders versus the retainer style is that the battery comes up the front. So it's, you know, you don't have to worry about like, oh, if I have something in the way and the battery is removable. So this is my pick for the great search. It's a lovely battery retainer.